Africa is a continent of diverse cultures, rich history, and untold potential. But this land, with its wealth of resources, has a complex and painful history. Today, we delve into the past and present, exploring the new scramble for Africa. Why is the continent under foreign military occupation? To understand the new scramble, we must first journey back to the late 1800s, a time when the original scramble for Africa took place. European powers, including Britain, France, Germany, Italy, Belgium, and others, driven by economic interests, political rivalries, and the quest for glory, carved up Africa with little regard for its people. They embarked on a mission to exploit Africa's vast resources and its people. The scramble greatly benefited the West economically but at a great cost to Africa. The continent endured exploitation, forced labor, cultural erasure, and the disruption of long-standing communities. Not to mention the transatlantic slave trade and the rise of colonialism in Africa. If you are enjoying this video, please leave a comment and press the subscribe button. Let's continue. Fast forward to the late 1950s and early 1960s. The winds of change were blowing across Africa. Freedom fighters, such as Kwame Krumah, Jomo Kenyatta, Patrice Lumumba, and Nelson Mandela, emerged, leading the charge against colonial oppression, hoping to free the continent of Western imperialism. But the struggle for freedom came at a heavy price. Many of these heroes paid the ultimate sacrifice, with many being assassinated or imprisoned in the fight to free their people and their nations. Despite many African nations gaining independence from European powers, a new challenge emerged. The fall of Libya in 2011 was marked by deceptive claims of weapons of mass destruction and may have opened the door to a new scramble for Africa from the usual suspects. We were wondering today about whether Gaddafi's weapons could fall into the hands of terrorists. Turns out, his arsenal includes chemical weapons and shoulder-fired anti-aircraft missiles. The real motive, many believe, was to assassinate Colonel Muammar Gaddafi, as his vision of a united and economically independent Africa posed a threat to Western interests. The consequences of this intervention were felt far beyond Libya's borders. The Sahel region, once stable, became a breeding ground for terrorism, as arms and fighters flowed freely across porous borders. Enter AFRICOM, the United States Africa Command, established in 2007. It partners with Western nations such as the United Kingdom, France, Germany, Italy, and others. Officially, it claims to address security challenges and promote stability. However, many question its true motives. Terrorism in the Sahel has increased, not decreased, since AFRICOM began operating in Africa. More than 40 foreign military bases are in Africa. And many believe the war in the Sudan is financed by foreign militaries. Many more believe the neocolonization and slavery in the Democratic Republic of Congo are orchestrated by multinational corporations and backed by the West. Some argue that AFRICOM perpetuates neocolonialism, with the West maintaining a military presence in Africa under the pretext of counterterrorism and stability. Our only U.S. warship in AFRICOM, the Herschel Woody Williams, is an expeditionary staging base. And uh, while um, it's a big platform with a flight deck on it and can hold a bunch of troops and a bunch of supplies. Well, that doesn't seem particularly uh, exciting probably for a lot of theaters of the world. It's absolutely the perfect platform for us in Africa uh, because it can stage troops and it can go anywhere and respond to crisis and be in position for a long time. As we reflect on this complex history and the present reality, we are left with profound questions. Is the African continent under occupation by Western militaries? Are African people in danger of neocolonization and neo-slavery? What is AFRICOM's true motive? Why did African leaders allow foreign militaries to occupy their land after their forefathers fought against colonialism? What purpose do these military bases serve on African soil? The new scramble raises challenging inquiries, urging us to confront the legacy of the past and navigate the complexities of the present. African people and people of African descent have a responsibility to demand answers from their respective nations. In a time where white supremacy is being normalized again in the United States and in Europe, and with the occupation of Africa, turning a blind eye may have dire and irreversible consequences. This is why knowing history is critically important. Those who do not learn history are doomed to repeat it. If you enjoyed this video and would like to see more captivating videos about African and African American geopolitics, Subscribe to get notified about the next important video and leave a comment.